Now, engineers say they've invented an uncuttable material that repels angle grinders and drills. They've taken inspiration from natural materials such as grapefruit skins and mollusk shells. Well, I'm joined by the lead author and the assistant professor of applied mechanics in the Department of Engineering at the University of Durham, Dr. Stefan Shinashevsky. Very warm welcome to the programme, Doctor. I mean, goodness me, how on earth does a grapefruit inspire an uncuttable material? Uh, thank you for having me. It's a great pleasure to be here with, with you. Um, I would call it a non-cuttable material. Maybe I would uh, call it that. Uh, the grapefruit is actually very resistant to free fall impact, so you can drop it from a couple of meters uh, and it will still remain intact because the, the, the peel of a grapefruit is made of porous sponge, but the sponge is hierarchical. So if you zoom in into that, you will see that it's like a sponge within a sponge within a sponge, and this makes the, the skin very light. Um, how interesting. So it's how we, you know, we discovered the law of gravity by an apple falling from a tree, and we discover an uncuttable material through inspiration from a grapefruit. And I believe the tiled structure of a mollusk shell was also key to your, uh, your uh, discovery. Yes, I would say that the, the mollusk shell is more important actually because um, the, the seashell is very resistant to predators, so it doesn't uh, open very easily when the shark wants to eat it or crack it open. And it's quite surprising because the, the resistance of the shell is about 2,000 times higher than the fractured toughness of the bricks it is made of. And this is because when you try to crack it open, the crack has to travel via this maze of soft material in between the, the hard bricks, and this takes a lot of energy. Um, so this contrast between rigid, hard material suspended in a soft matrix, a bit like nuggets suspended in a soft jelly, was actually the key to our uh, discovery, because if you try to cut jelly with nuggets with a knife, once you hit the nugget, you will notice that the jelly is sort of rattling and shaking. Um, Sorry, but so we replaced the jelly with the foam. We could do at home with jelly and chicken nuggets to discover the same concept. Is that what you're saying? I think you could do that. Um, okay. Yes. Um, I was actually more uh, closely observing nature and, and the Abalon uh, seashell, but I think you are right. The inspiration is, is around us uh, and we just need to look closely to see it. I love it. I love it. Um, so in what form might we find this uncuttable material then? Is it going to be you know, useful for bike locks and things? I presume it's quite lightweight, is it? Yes, it is six times lighter than steel because it is porous metal, so it's mostly air. Um, and what I'm really excited about is that it's just a concept. So we made it out of steel, uh, cellular metal and ceramic inserts. But it could be implemented, the vibrations and the strain rate effect of particles that, that are in the, in, the, in, the, in the ceramic inserts. This can be replicated with other materials. So you could use plastic foam, uh, maybe gravel, or it's, it's a principle that we demonstrated using this particular embodiment of cellular metal with, with ceramic spheres. And there is something else I want to mention is that the key resistance is not only coming from the vibrations, but also from the my mini sandbags that we have inside this material. So, so the ceramic spheres, they fragment into particles when you try to cut them. And you may notice in war zones, oftentimes you see sandbags and they stop fast traveling bullets. But if you approach a sandbag with a stick or a sword and you poke it, it will go through quite easily. So what happens is particles don't like fast loading. You, so they will stop the bullet, but they will not stop a slow moving object. So in our case, we couple the vibrations and the fast motion of those vibrations with the strain rate effect of the particles that are inside. And they become extremely hard. They don't like this fast motion, uh, this fast movement. And, and uh, this is enough to defeat uh, very hard uh, cutting discs. Um, and is this going to be particularly difficult to manufacture, to turn it into a product from concept to, you know, our shelves? Actually, it's not that difficult to manufacture. The manufacturing resembles a bit, uh, it looks a bit like baking a cake or a loaf of bread. So you mix metallic 
flour or powder with foaming agent, a bit like baking soda, and you add ceramic nuggets into your metallic dough, it goes into the oven and then the metal liquefies and the foaming agent forms the metal inside the form. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's basically uh, similar to casting or other conventional uh, processes. Uh, so yes, we could produce this kind of material in mass scale very soon. Okay, Dr. Stefan Shinishevsky, really interesting from here from, to hear from you. I'll be getting out the jelly and the chicken nuggets and uh, sweeping it up yeah. off my children's floor and turning it into an experiment. Thanks very much indeed. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Have a nice one. My pleasure.